Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Baska Berry here. Uh, today we'll be starting the new series on Apache Airflow. Uh, so, as part of this video, I'm going to cover uh, the development environment for the Airflow. So, mainly what we need is the prerequisites for this is uh, you need a Docker to be set up in your desktop environment, and Python should be present in your system as well as Visual Studio Code. And I'll be explaining how to set up these all three uh, in your missions as part of this video. Okay, so there's a link here. Directly you can go to the link and download the software. So once you go to uh, docker.com under products, you can select for uh, Docker desktop. Based on your OS, you can select whichever version we have like Linux or Windows there. Since I have Windows now, I'll be downloading this one. So it's going to take uh, like hardly two to three minutes. And similarly for Visual Studio Code, uh, you can download from this link here. So you can download uh, the Windows here. It supports both 8, 10, 11. So the Python also can be downloaded the latest versions. Uh, it, it should be above version three and above okay so i have already installed python so let me show you that okay you can see here this is my current version i have is uh, 3.10.8 so it's just uh, directly the installers will be here so you can right click on that and then install it basic checks, accept the agreements, the path where it needs to be installed. I am all setting the defaults values itself. Okay, this is done. So for the Docker, I have the application here, so we'll, you can just right click on that. So these options needs to be enabled here. Uh, this, in case if you're not uh, enabled, you can go to the uh, add features there and then enable it. Okay, even if it is installed, we need to enable it for running the application there. Okay. Let it set. Okay. Okay. So this is done. Just close and restart. So it should, uh, it should be up and running. Once you restart the system, so this is going to be pop up first. So accept all the. So I'm saying that this is all uh, security issues you are getting in. in, in in uh, Windows environment, so I'm just using this uh, using Hyper-V. This enables the virtualization engines. But if you come here at the bottom, if you can you can see the option here, switch to Windows containers. So you can just click on this.
disabled, enable it using the PowerShell script. Is an administrator PowerShell and restart it, uh, your computer using the Docker desktop. So let's run this command and see how it works. Uh, okay, let's open it with PowerShell in Run as administrator. Yes. Copy the same command and paste it. Then it will run it. Do you want to restart a computer to complete this operation now? Yes. After running the PowerShell the script on that, uh, running the script on PowerShell, and I've restarted. So, so now you can see that it's uh, running. Okay, it's up and running. So you can run any, you can run any of the uh, containers here. So I'll that. Process I'll be explaining later uh, when I move to the next videos. Okay, and uh, you can check the properties here as well. Okay. So you can see here the uh, Docker desktop is running. Okay, so the other functionalities of this and how to uh, deploy these containers I'll be explaining that in the uh, the next series of videos. Okay, thank you for watching. Please do subscribe my YouTube channel.